Welcome back to another how-to video with Creo. And in this video, we're going to be going over how to transfer your RIP software from an old computer to a new computer. So the first thing you want to do is go onto your old computer and go into the RIP software there. Now before you install it on your new computer, you have to deactivate it on your old computer. You can deactivate your software by opening it up, going to the help tab, and just clicking on deactivate product. Once that's done, feel free to get rid of the software if you're not going to be using that computer anymore. And then get your new computer out. And here we're going to download the new software. But once you get logged into your new computer, the first thing you want to do if you haven't already is go to mycreo.com. Once you're at mycreo.com, click get started and go to drivers and downloads. Now I have an 8432, so I'm going to scroll down and click on the download here for the digital factory rip software. But if you have a 9541, then make sure you download that software. They're both extremely similar, but you need to have the correct one in order for this to work. Once you hit download, go up to the download tab in your browser and click on it just to open the software. And it's going to pop up and ask you if you want to allow this software on your device. You're just going to click yes. Next, it should pop up with an activation tab. And here you're just going to type in your old code. If you can't find your registration code or don't remember it, please reach out to support at mycreo.com and our help desk will get you set up. Once you open your new RIP software and get logged in, it might look a little bit different than your last one did. You can change how it looks by clicking on the view tab and then looking at UI mode and select theme. UI mode will let you look at the classic theme, how it used to look, and then select theme will let you toggle between light and dark mode. This is all just personal preference, but both the softwares do essentially the same thing. Now, once you got all that set up, feel free to plug your Creo right into your computer and you're ready to print. It's that easy to set up your new RIP software. And if you have any more questions about the RIP software or anything else Creo related, you can always learn more at mycreo.com. We have new content coming out weekly. And thank you for watching.